Good morning everybody and welcome to episode 99 of Pumpkin Days. This is uh, Greta Roasted Brussels Sprouts. Uh -huh. And I figured while I could I'd spend maybe an hour here. We'll do a little bit of Greta and then we might follow it up with um, a little bit of my time at Porsche. It's been a bit hectic around here so I've been a bit scarce. 2023, what have I been doing? Alright, well I have a shovel in my hand. I'm thinking, oh boy, I have like a whole forest of poop. So they've just recently done a bit of an update. Um, they're working pretty hard on doing the final polish for the release. They were talking about maybe an October release. It doesn't look like I'm picking up multiple poo uh, each shovel, no matter how many I click on. By the same token, I am not digging up any trees. So uh, I'm not sure if that's got anything to do with the, um, with the latest update. Maybe that's no longer something we can do. I'm not also not seeing um, no, that took up two. I'm also not seeing multiple um, squares for, for where my shovel is affecting, so I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. Oops, and I'm crowding my mic again. Sorry, guys. So, um, this is... Uh-oh. One of the problems with fruit trees is it gets pretty hard to see what's going on uh, underneath them. And these ones are much more spread out than my first planning, so I'm not quite sure what's going on. Alright. Yeah. So, today's episode, I figured while, um, while they're getting the last lot of things in line, we might, we might do something just... Uh, just maybe to get the museum up and running. So we've got our summer fish we have to catch. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm short a few flowers, or a couple of flowers. So I think there was a new flower in there not long ago. Uh, I needed to check on my feed situation, and all my sheep are running away, which means I won't be able to shear them. Where are my shears? Hmm. Okay, I must have done one of my usual box emptying panics and I've put my shears somewhere incredibly clever and I don't know where they are so hopefully I didn't do anything like I don't know give them away that would be a pain we will just um, fill up these troughs and get these guys ready if I feed these guys I don't have to worry about feeding them for a bit but it does mean sorry Grove it does mean we're um, not going to have too much. There we are. I love my rainbow sheep. I mean, they're a lot cuter when they're lambs, but they're still pretty spectacular. But it's kind of cute. So I wonder, is it rainbow sheep? Oh, and I probably should put Faraday in his stable. So we might ride over to the cows in a minute. It is night time. There's not a lot we can do. We've been neglecting um, poor... Takeo as well. I think we've had our second date with him and there are only two dates that you can have so um, Might have to start thinking about making an honest man out of him eventually. Let's just pop that shovel away and we might just go grab our fruit um, Look at that. I just love looking out over the well, okay, maybe not over at the dump, but I mean come on the countryside's gorgeous here Let's uh do I need to water that? Look and yes, I do. Look at that. All right, I forgot. You do have to water your trees to a certain level, and then uh, then you can stop. But uh, those ones are relatively new. All right, let's grab our fruit picker. Let's we'll score ourselves a few hundred oranges, lemons, and whatnot. I know, I thought putting fertilizer on my trees was a great thing to do because 
30 lemons in one go was not enough. Um, I'm beginning to think I might have overdone it. <laughs> Holy dooly. Yeah. And of course, we, we had to do the same with our cherries as well. Oh, no. I may have forgotten an errand. Oh, no, normally there's a little sad noise that pops up as well if you do. Okay. Uh, all right, I'm just going to try and wiggle my way down here. Oh, my goodness. So the, the best thing I can think of to do with these guys is to just um, have a massive fruit juice making party. Possibly a cake making party. We could make lemon a load of lemon cake. That would be fun. Okay, we've done that row. Let's just come backwards down this row. Oh man. It, it is my own fault. I have I have literally made life very hard for myself by putting in this many fruit trees. Ha! Huh. And harvesting is costing me energy. Even although I don't have a... Wow! All right, so harvesting never used to cost you energy. That's... um. That's new since the last update, I think, because that was, that's probably a good thing given just how much you get out of, I'm so used to not watching my energy with Greta too, I'll have to, um, I'll have to be careful of that. So there you go, harvesting my fruit tree has cost me a ton of energy, cool. Uh, let's, um. So yeah, so that's quite a lot of lemons, <laughs> quite a lot. Ah, oh, master of understatement is what we are. That's, that's quite a lot of lemons and cherries that we've got there. Let's just see if we happen to have any sugar in the fridge here. Oh gosh. Wow, okay, I need to do something about this. This is kind of a bit bad. Yeah. We can make ban apple smoothies. We can't do much else with ban apples unless they've added some more recipes. All right, well, let's go grab our pony. We'll just and I and I know what I want to catch for my fish tanks now, as well. Alrighty, whistle the horse, pocket the shovel. Oops, what are you doing over there? Come on, Faraday. Ah, oh, poor horse. I know. All right, let's just zip by the mailbox while we're here. As tempting as it is to go to my big farm and just see what I've forgotten to water. Oh, why did you have to go tell a girl you were going to do her a favor and then back out? That's not okay at all. Oh, no, I did mess someone up. I knew I should have checked my, uh, oops. Oh, dear. That's, um, no, she's right. That's not cool at all. Oh, man. Alrighty, my horse's hooves have stopped making clip-clop sounds. Wait, my horse is broken. No, it's not. Oh, wow. All right, Faraday, you go, you go and do whatever it is you need to go do, and um, I'm going to eat some of Zoe's apple cake. And I might actually check my journal. So. Alright, so I only had one more to go in, and I obviously missed... Oh, no, that's terrible. Alright. A polished agate for Dahlia. Bakery cake. I suspect the cake we're looking for is an autumn cake. Shaitan for Tucker. Sandwich, that's a tuna sandwich for Vibat. We'll check the market tomorrow. And chocolate spread for Rose. We're going to need cocoa beans so we can grind them into powder. 
All right, let's just have a look at my meteor home. See, now I'm getting all of the... Oh, that was interesting. Hang on, let me try not clicking on all the poo and just maybe digging. Okay, now you do have to click on each one. That's okay, that makes sense. You never know what's changed with an update, so it's always a good thing to kind of poke poke the things to make sure they're working or that they're working the way you're used to it. Like I said, they're getting ready for their release, so um, exciting. I haven't been able to catch up with um, Momo's broadcast lately. She's been doing an awful lot of work, um, but I've, I've had a... Uh, I still have, I'm taking a break at the moment, uh, a contract that's due in five days time. Um, so I've laid down a couple of thousand words on it this morning and I'm going to take this break and then I'm going to lay down another couple of thousand words on it this afternoon. So should be good. The, the thing is, is I've already made the words that uh, that they wanted. But uh, the project itself has decided it needs more words. So I have permission to, to add those. I keep checking the shoveling to um to see if uh, i'm using up energy and i shouldn't be because it's a um it's a meteor tool and i'm only playing on normal so i should be pretty okay energy wise oh i can't i'm so bad with errands i, I take them all the time and i completely forget to to finish them or i lose track of time with them that's okay, we don't have any now except for the untimed ones, so I can relax a little bit, focus on the museum stuff. I'll just shovel this out from under the ball. There we go. So I keep saying I need to pay more attention to my animals and uh, get some heart levels up before I sell them. I may just I may just end up selling them and continuing the hunt for these special breeds. Is it morning already? Oh my goodness! What time? I got up really late in the afternoon, so we'll see how far we can push it. I think um, I shouldn't fall over until something like eight o'clock tonight. Which means I shouldn't start snoring until it's 20 take 6, 1400, until about 2 a.m. or uh, 2 p.m. Aha, oh, look, there's the brothers heading into India, their garden plot for work. Nicholas and Sebastian. Someone ought to make them a. Um, a really good watering can. That would be that would be nice. All right. Uh, just make sure I don't have any. No, no feeding troughs in here. Fine. Oh, sorry, Scorpio. Suspiro. So I think Suspiro is my flying pig. Actually, I wonder if it'll tell me in my journal. Let's have a look and find out. Oops. Animal relationships. And I think the more recent ones are down the bottom. The... Okay, no. So it doesn't tell me if Suspiro is Stormy, my flying pig. All right, so it just doesn't tell me which one of these animals is a... See, it doesn't even tell me that sparkles and sprinkles are rainbow sheep. 
All right, so I can't find out which of my piggies are the flying pig this way, but I think it was Suspira because Stormy is a little black pig, so. They arrived on the same night. It was raining. I'm trying to pat the cow. All right, fine, I'll just milk the cow. And you pat the cow, there we go. So that's truffles, ambience. I really do need to work out what I did with my shears. Milk the cow. Pat the cow, turn the cow over. No, that's not how it goes. Grunty. Tonkatsu. Alfalfa. So if I've patted them before, then you don't get the little love hearts. That, oh no, which one of you is sick? Is that Rosa? Ah. Okay, so I'm not sure why they're sick. They had feed, so it's possible that we're now getting sick animals from um, poop happening. Um, which is good, because they kind of did warn us about that. Dr. Beardenheim is particularly emphatic about it. So, alright, well I will go and cure my animals. I think my chore list was barn crafting museum and oh barn barn is for my sheep isn't it so I can move things around yep so barn crafting museum and summer fish all right these guys are being padded oh and we were going to check on our quota as well which means I should probably go make sure I haven't killed all my plants All right, let's have a quick look at our quota. We need to get chicken, eggs, and cheese. Okay. Oh, well, I'm, whoops. I'm standing right next to the cheese maker, so I guess we can just put the milk in there and leave that running. I need 80, though. It might be quicker to, um, to get, purchase the milk. Pack Kainoa. And I should put the poop sacks in the, um, in the fertilizer bin. Not that one, that's for my disaster dishes. Alrighty, drop those in there. And we'll drop those in there. Might as well collect that one in here. Alright, I think that's much it. Oh, just when you think you've cleaned up your barn, look at that. Seriously guys, quit pooping. Although if they did then we have to be worried because they might be sick. Just checking to see how many bags of poop it takes. So it takes five bags to make Two fertilizer, okay. Alright, everyone looks pretty happy. Let's uh, call the pony. Actually, I'm being really lazy. I don't need to call the pony. I just need to walk over to him and, you know, climb on. Oops. Okay, where are we? That way. So, check out museum stuff too while we're at it. I have a vague idea. Alright, so is that the... That's the old pirate. All right, that's the coin we don't want to ship. Everything else is fair game. Uh, I thought we had a tablet as well, maybe not. That's easy to check. Artifacts. All right, so the old floral coin. trying to remember which ancient stone tablet it was that I found because I know I found it. I think it was this one so hang on Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius. Okay it's not that one. Oh. All right fine I'm tired of this tablet thing. 
let's go check our crops and then we're going to put the floral coin in the museum and then we're going to go see uh, which tablet it is that we don't have so I did manage to dig up the Aquarius tablet a second time and I thought it was the um, the tablet I was missing so clearly I, oh wow look my chicken wow that is a very golden chicken let me just turn Greta around and then there we go Oh, you need to unlock camera. Okay, try that trick again. The chicken's like, put me down, man. Not until I have a picture with you. There we go. One golden chicken. And we got photo bombed by the pony. All right, now we'll put the, pony, oh, the chicken down. Oops, lock the camera again. Now we're good. Okay, chickens also need feeding or I'm gonna have a major vet bill instead of just a minor vet bill. Alex doesn't get grumpy when the animals are sick. One day, one day, I swear, he's going to. Then I'm going to be in trouble. And I have fruit trees to defruit. That's going to be exciting. All right. So we picked up the Aquarius tablet last time. And I have it. We've got the Leo tablet. All right. Pat Penelope and we'll pat Obama and we'll pat Cumulus. That's lightning. So this is our original male chicken. And this is one of our baby chickens that grew up, the Cluxter. There we go. And McChick. Or Kendrick, sorry. Captain Nugget. This is the other baby chicken. He's grown up as well. That's so cute nice it's always good when the animals grow up uh, of course on the downside i'm going to have to get rid of a few of them because i do not need three roosters that's just asking for havoc in the in the yard and especially as uh, the father of the chickens is lightning and i can't remember exactly who their mothers were so we don't want to risk what ah oh, crossbreeding the chickens to their parents All right, it looks like I need to get chicken food as well. Wow, these guys are hungry. All right, let's just grab the eggs. We needed 80 eggs for our quota, so it shouldn't take us too long to get those if we don't have them already. It's 13.50, we need to make a run to the animal store and a run to the vet. All righty. Come on, Faraday, let's ride like the wind. Oops. I know, this is, is not drunken farmer riding, but it comes pretty close some days. Okay, so we need to check which stone tablet we're missing. Um, oops. We can hit the vets on the way through. It's 14.18. We might go and see him first because Alec does Alex doesn't finish until five. But Alec, got a minute, fam? Rose's birthday is coming soon and I want to make her something special. Do you want to help me gather some ingredients to make a white diamond? It's a mixed drink in case you were confused. Yes. Alright. I can get the vodka if you can get some regular coffee and milk. Try to bring all the ingredients before her birthday. How you doing? Sometimes I think about living out in the woods like that witch. Ah, uh, what's her name, Gelfie? I couldn't be a vet out there though, and I would be leaving all my friends. So I end up staying here. Okay, so it's not as bad as I thought it was. Alright. Oh, and we were going to get a barn, but I think I need to get wood for that, don't I? Yep. And we worked out that all the fish were also shippable. Now I'm snoring up a beauty there, but I've got about three hours, no, five hours before um, before I fall asleep. So we'll, uh, we'll play chicken just a little bit longer. Here's Orpheus, look at my plowed fields. I am Orpheus, king of the garden. Yes, yes, Orpheus, you are. Hey, Alex, how are you doing? I found a route 
around the wind temple that lets me not have to pass by the graveyard. It takes an extra five minutes to get around the blame building, but geez louise, it's worth it. Ain't got to deal with that chilly, creepy feeling. We forgot to return our thing to Tucker. I can do that. Thank you kindly. Bye animals. Now I'm pretty sure I'm out of barn space. Uh, and I don't need any more sheep really. I mean I'd like more sheep. How much feed have I got? Alright, so I think I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy 200 uh, of those and uh, another 200 of those. It's not going to last that long, but it'll last long enough. That'll do. There's a white foal. And it's a girl. And we can put it in the pony hotel. There you go, now Faraday can have company. Zeus is not a girl's name. We shall call her Athena. There we go. Have I got? Oh, I don't remember. Have a nice day. Alrighty. Faraday. Okay, it's 15.46. If I go to sleep now, I'll be waking up at 11 o'clock at night. Let's go take this thing to Tucker. Actually, we are so close to the trees, we might as well chop down 200. Not 200, uh, 35 each. We need to chop down about four of them. Okay, I just need to get off the pony. What? Oh, fine. I'm not far enough out of town. They will not let me chop down the trees when I'm, I'm this close to town. So I just need to go the other way a little bit further. Take the measurement off the back of... Um, Alex's place and we'll just head down the hill all the ways. This should be nice. Alright, watch your energy. And I didn't see it's okay. Meteor at That is nice. Alright, so this won't take us very long at all. I don't know why I've been putting it off. It's generally better to not um, chop the stumps down until you're sure it's going to work. That looks like camellia or lavender, one of the two. Okay, it looks like you only get 20 wood off your smoky wood. We're at 60. It is making me a little bit nervous about the um, the snoring. Ah, oh, just got conked on the head by a tree. That's not very nice. That's very unneighbourly of it, actually. Mind you, I am cutting it down. I guess I guess that's not very neighbourly either. All right, so these ones are working just fine if you cut the stumps before the tree falls. Awesome. All right, we are nearly at 200. nearly 1800 oh, I'll go back and get the timber and just check so that should be another 60 okay it's 15 plus the 5 with my super duper bug net. Cool, I think I've caught one of those already though. I am starting to make myself very nervous. 1835, I have an 
hour and a half. Let's just get rid of this stump. All right, look at that. We might head back to the house and grab some Z's and uh, actually we'll head back to the other house and we'll put the logs in the, uh, the sawmill and then we'll grab some Z's. Here's what we'll do. Try not to run Sebastian over. Farmer tramples, farmer with horse. Yeah, that, that's not going to go down well. Oh, and we also need to probably feed our chickens. Alrighty. Crops. I should be okay to ignore them, maybe. Playing with fire. Alright. We need to just get rid of some of this cherry juice as well. Uh, sorry, cherry. The quickest way I can think of is to turn it into cherry juice. Oh, yeah, we need to. It won't let me do more than a hundred at a time. Uh, and I've just had a look at the clock, so I think we'll stop playing with fire and we might go and lie down. Maybe. 1937. All right. We'll sleep to 3 a.m. That, that's not too bad. That'll give us a good long day tomorrow. We can, we can start panicking about midnight. And the TV won't have changed over. Right, let's, um, let's go and throw the chook food in the chook feeders. And I forgot to take Faraday home to introduce to uh, his foal. Friend. All right, this should keep the uh, the chickens happy, and we might just grab the eggs out that we need for the quota as well. It's not like we're going to have trouble meeting it. these chickens so happy and they won't be that happy if I wake them I know all right that's better So once these guys are fed, uh, I think what we're going to do is make that, we're going to do a, a seven, we're going to do a tablet run. And we're just literally going to run to all of the locations that, uh, that the tablets are located at usually and just see which one I haven't picked up. I mean, I've picked them all up, but see which one's duplicating that I need to grab for the museum collection. Seems I can't remember it off the top of my head. And I might check for agate. But I think tablet run first. It'll take us past Spoonie, so we might as well go there. Right, those chickens are all good. Way. All right, we're going to just grab the chook food and stick it in the chook food box. And I am going to go, what do you mean I don't have feed next time I see them? Because I always forget. I'm just going to grab this box and we're going to take it and stick it in one of the stables for um, horse fodder. And I was going to put my logs in these things, wasn't I? So we'll grab, uh, grab that. All right, that should that should have a have a few logs done by the end of the day. Let's uh, see if we can grab our stone. I'm pretty sure I don't have agate.
was it? I think it was, no. Alright, so we don't have any agate because I've got these guys in alphabetical order, so. I do want to polish up the tiger's eye and give this gift to um, to Kao because it's his favourite stone. So we all do that while we're here. Alright. That doesn't go in the bin. I oh, in my shipping bin. Oh, I do have sugar. Chrysocolla. No, nope, definitely not the same stone. Malachite. Opal. Fury. All right. That's the other thing we don't want to put in the shipping crate. Actually, we should put the Takeo Teddy somewhere. Probably in the house. Snap to grid. Oh, cute. Alrighty. Oh, uh, that's that. Just grab this and we'll go for cherry juice again. Because I really, really need to get rid of some of that. I mean, we've got 457 apples as well. We could probably do something with that while we're at it. But I think we'll just um, just reduce some of our, our cherry numbers. I think I just asked for one. That was a bit silly. This is one of the quickest ways too to cook up your prerequisite for the shop um, stocking more kitchens. Once you get a fruit tree and you get like 30 fruit off each tree, uh, which means you can make 15 juices, which means in two harvests you can send 50 dishes, two harvests, three harvests, four harvests, there you go. Four full harvests off a fruit tree, you can send 50 cooked dishes uh, in and Eddie will stock your, um, what do you call it, will stock your medium kitchen. And it doesn't take you that, say 10 harvests to, um, to ship 100 juices, which will enable him to stock your large kitchen. So it, it shouldn't take you too long to get your kitchens if you're looking at unlocking them with Eddie. Uh, once you get a fruit tree or once you start collecting fruit and selling them, tea, tea is also easy to make on your little little one and soup. And it's Saturday and we were going to buy a truckload of sugar. I mean I could just buy 80 cheese, that's a bit naughty though, let's not do that. Alrighty, back in this way. There's also dillweed. Normally I would grab that and I would I would sell it. Uh, not sell it, turn it into seed. In Pumpkin Vale I turned it into seed and uh, and mass plant a whole bunch of it and then harvest a ton. Uh, it's, you take two so it costs you eight. Let's go deliver this thing to Tucker and maybe call our horse. And I've got to remember I've got to get ingredients before Rose's birthday and I'm not sure if there's a timer on that. Okay, so birthday quest for Alec is you need to get a coffee drink and milk but you've got to do it by Rosa's birthday and I can see there's there's no time limit on that but uh, there is a time limit you've got to get it done by when's Rosa's birthday okay so we've got to here to do it um, that's a bit of a worry 
Charu, Terra, Jim, Mephern, Poppy, Claudio, Ezekiel, Joel, Tuesday, Rose. All right, so we might have to do the coffee and milk thing uh, after we've dropped this delivery off to Tucker and done our run for tablets. So we're going to do a tablet run. If you borrowed it from Claudio. Tucker, don't you know you're not meant to, you know, lend things that belong to other people? Man. Open 10 a.m. Claudio. All right, fine. He can just wait. We'll just call Pony. So. We'll hit the museum. And then we're going to hit, um... Wahoo Beach first, I think there's about four spots there. So just gonna be really lazy. Travel straight out to the museum. Alright, and I'll get off my pony. I know, right? How you doing? I can't take the day off today. I still need to take care of the museum. It's not a big deal. I love my job. Alright, let's donate that. So there's no emergency for me to finish the museum, but I just want to see how much longer it would take if I tried. Okay. It's going to take me two hours by tuk-tuk to get to Wahoo Beach. I think it only takes me about a half hour if I ride. Let's see, 10.49, and we want to bear a little bit more to our left. So about there. Yep, see now we're pointing straight at it. So we should theoretically get to... Um, there are so many things I want to stop and catch. Today we're going to do tablets. That's, and that's, that's where we'll fix it. And then I think we'll have a look and see what other the other categories are missing things. So these are all uh, bunches of flowers we're zipping past. But I'm pretty sure we've got... Oh, we've got all but one. I think they introduced one. Ooh, making me work for it. Just check I'm still on. Oops. See, this is why you check, because otherwise you get lost. It's raining at Wahoo Beach, of course it is. Alright, so given that we've come in at the back of Wahoo Beach, we're going to check up in the graveyard first. Uh, if I can just remember where it is. Oh, okay, over there. I wonder if uh, Faraday can jump that fence. Let's find out. Tuesday's going to kill me. Okay, so yes, we have collected the tablet from here. Alrighty. See if we can jump this. Oh, so much easier. Oops. Okay, we have collected the tablet from here. That's a sand pile. We won't let that phase us. So that's two. Alright, for the next bit we're probably gonna have to leave Faraday on the beach because the last time I rode a horse rode him in, a horse into the water, I don't think it was was it Faraday? It might have been Faraday. Uh, I ended up taking an interesting tour under Spoonie Island and then I nearly drowned, so maybe we won't do that this time. Alright, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab our cake because it makes us fast and that includes swimming. I'm pretty sure I can't see the tablet out here. Okay, good. Let's head back. Alright, cakes make you swim faster. Ah, uh, now. So that's two tablets, three tablets. Ah, uh, fourth tablet was Piscari Island. So let's head that way. Uh, no, that's not in order, by the way. It's just the... the I'm trying to do it in the most economical way possible. Uh, to do it quick. So, like I said, I remember picking them all up. I just can't remember which one hasn't registered. Alrighty. Uh, 
Okay, just got to hit the island at the right angle. There are oranges here on Pescari. They won't do you any good unless you're in Wahoo Beach. Uh, you can turn them into seeds. All right, so the tablet is not here, which is good because it means we've collected it and it's registered. So I'm just trying to work out that light patch is. Yep, that's just a patch of light. Okay. All right, that's that's four. So we've done the whale tail, uh, the face overlooking the water, the one that's in the place where people weep, um, and and the one on Piscari Island. Sorry, Faraday. Yes, I do need you. Okay. So technically, yes, I could have gone out to, I probably should have taken the tuk-tuk out to Spoonie Island. So there's one, there's two in this direction on this side, and then we need to go back into the centre. So um, I'm just trying to work out if it's quicker to, to go out onto Spoonie and swim, or if it's quicker to swim around the headland. That's right, there's a wall there, isn't there? Sorry, Pony. You've just got to come up and away. That's Nikki running a mail errand. She's now going to be very upset because she got overtaken by a horse. And that, that means she has to practice harder. She drives herself far too hard, that girl. Alrighty. Actually, while we're here, we might as well check for this blessed cake, just in case it ends up being a summer cake after all. Let's see? Hi, Forest. How you doing? You got some nice buns in the oven that you baked. What do I want one? It's not free though. Well, it's gluten free. Uh huh. Owl cake. There's a cat cake. So it's dinosaur cakes in spring. And it's unicorn cakes in winter, and it looks like it's cat cakes in summer. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's um, it's going to be owl cakes in autumn. I think. Of course, we're going to have to play to autumn to test this theory out, but uh, that's that's what I think. All right, we have to come back for these butterflies, and I think there should be beetles on the tree. Uh, that's right, we are not taking Faraday swimming. It's bad for the pony. Alrighty, thank you Faraday. So, off the end of this thing, I'm just going to eat some cake so I can swim faster. And we're going to aim for about here, because if you aim here you'll get caught on the rocks under. So you want to just... Away we go. Ow, ow, ow. ow. See, if you look underneath the water as you're swimming, you can see this lip of rock just here. And this is where we're aiming at. Come and run up on the side. All right, so I don't have a lot of... There's two things we probably should look for in here. Uh, one of them is... This artifact. But the other one while we're in here is this... Mis Okay, that's alabaster. But down here is another one that I have no idea about. So I'm just going to go nuts with the pickaxe and um, while I'm here, we're going to just very quickly see if we can find it. Should be sapphire, comet. I mean, these are all good finds, and if you're if you're just starting out, they're not bad. Philosopher's Stone. I think this is the only cave you can get that one in. Um, I'm running really quick because I've eaten cake, and it has that effect on you. Pretty sure. No, that's not your tablet. That's right. I remember where the tablet is now. So you also get coins in here. Mind you, you also get a ton of sand and some uh, boots and old tires. But uh, you do get coins and other little artifacts as well. So don't don't miss any of those. 
let's quickly grab this. 19.15, I've got till 3 a.m. I've got to remember this. Otherwise, I'll end up in some strange doctor's surgery. Oh, and doctors, I'm supposed to see Takeo as well. Oops. Raw iron, or copper. Okay. Nope, nothing there. The, um, the stalactites reach further than it appears, so you're just going to have to work your way around them. Alrighty. Onyx and iron and more iron and sapphire. And raw copper and raw silver. Now aha! That is what we're looking for. No, it's not. Alright. Okay, well that's a relief, except that's not where the tablet is then. Oh dear, have I forgotten where it is? It's on a dark patch of... Ah, okay, no, it's over here usually. All right, it usually lurks in this spot and it looks like it's it's really not here, so... Uh, let me out. Okay, out is that way. We're going to have to eat more cake. Our shoes are looking very dull. I don't think I picked up anything particularly spectacular that run through. So, what we've got are, um, alright, just head this way, oop, there goes my sneaker, we're in trouble, I'll just eat some cake, we'll be good. Okay, I technically I left my pony on Spoonie Island, um, that's okay, we're just going to take the longer way, because we've got cake and speed, I'm going to get a bit cocky, and, um, swim all the way this way. If you try doing this without cake, it, it can be a bit of a disaster. There we go. Look at that. And what we'll do is we'll zip up over here and we'll call our pony. So, here's our pony. Hey Faraday. Alright, that's right. And of course I've called him in behind whatever wall it is that stops ponies from getting to you. So we'll just run a little bit further into the jungle. Call him again. That should get him through the wall. Faraday. Grey pony in amongst the grey tree trunks. Alright. So we'll just head up this way. Now if you come round to swing to the left of this slope here, but then Swing, swing to the right, then come round to the left. You'll find your watermelon and your kiwi fruit. So if you're up at uh, Diamond Falls, here's where you find kiwi fruit seeds. And if you're in Wahoo Beach, here's where you find your watermelon. Uh, for your free watermelon seeds. We will not pick any up today. We're going to head uh, up the side over this way. So you've got to get out of that little gully. It's it's kind of tricky. It's 22.10. Oh gosh, I am playing with fire. Alrighty. So to answer anyone's questions, no, it's not really possible to do a one single tablet run. Maybe if I hadn't stopped to dig all the rocks up, but I still don't think there's, there's enough time to get uh, from here. This is, this is where you slow down. So it is possible to, to, to run and probably get all the tablets from this side of the island. Uh, then you've got two in the centre, three in the centre, and uh, one up at the Lapido Caves. And one at the base of the Hiatus Trail. Alrighty. I'm going to leave um, Faraday here. Uh, I'm going to play with fire. I reckon I can make it out there. Actually, especially if I jump oh, and come up on this sandbar, catch my breath and then go. Alrighty. 
So this is this is the magic of cake. If you don't have cake, don't try this. As it is, we're just pushing the edge of it now, I think. <laughs> there, see that little sad face? That's not what you want to see when you're swimming. Okay. I think we can make that as well. Let's give it a shot. We have cake. We are all powerful. Oh, we could be in trouble. Okay, no, we're not in trouble. And if 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 it was here, I don't think that's it. I actually think that's something else. But yep, it's an old boot. Normally, the the tablets around here somewhere. All right. So before I get all excited and uh, mess up, let's just put our shovel away and swim back the way we came. I don't think our sneak is going to run out before we get to this island. Let's hope not. We are going to have to go to the base of the stairs though, so we're going to have to take a slightly different way back. I don't think I'll get stuck on this. Nope, we're good. Swim over to here. And then swim over to here. Okay. There are insects on this island too that we have to catch. Oh, now I was after a canthus. This is a canthus. You can find it here. And that's a beautiful butterfly, but we won't stop for it. Okay. Um, oops, that was a cicada. We're going to have to try and catch those, and they are devilish hard. Also, I've been told, oh god, and now I have six hours to get home. Ah, uh, yeah. Up onto there. Oh, that's so not what I wanted to see. I fell off the stairs. Alright, let's... <laughs> Ow, what was that an aid of? Did you trip? Oh, man. Come on, Greta. Uh, up here. All right, and hopefully your buttonology will be a lot better than mine when you're negotiating these things because they're a menace. All right, grab the pony. Uh, I'm thinking, yes. All right, we're going to take the quick way down. Uh, oh, grab me. So this is the back end of the tropical tundra. There are some rather large spiders in here that I... I'm going to have to screw my courage up and try to catch. Um, and there are scorpions in here that are ditto. I'm going to have to screw my courage up and try to catch. But this is the quickest way home without getting lost because I can come straight out to the tuk-tuk stop at the end. And it'll be two hours till I get home. Oh man, I think I've overdone it. <laughs> I'm going to fall over. It's, that's terrible. All right, let's see. Let's see if I've how badly I've miscalculated it. The nearest, my nearest farm. It's 4:04. Oh, not good, not good, not good. Maybe I can't fall over while I'm on the pony, but I can't stay on the pony forever. Huh. All right, let's see if I can make it to bed. Yes. Okay. And on that note. I'm going to leave you. It's been an hour. I'm going to go and head into an hour of uh, my time at Porsche. And uh, I will catch you all shortly. You guys take care. See you around. <laughs>